Before we learn how to wire Valcom self-amplified speakers, we should take a look at how paging systems were commonly constructed in the past so we can understand why we developed the technology in the first place. The way old-fashioned paging systems worked was you picked up a telephone or a microphone that was connected to the system, made an announcement, and then that signal was greatly amplified through a central amplifier and sent out to speakers throughout a building. These systems are high voltage, which means that shielded cable was necessary in order to prevent interference with other electronics. The central amplifier also generates a lot of heat, which results in frequent failures. And if the amp goes down, the entire system goes down, which is not good when you're using that paging system for emergency notifications and announcements. What Valcom has done is shrink the amplifier down to a small, manageable size and put it on each individual speaker. We call this distributed amplification. It's also commonly known as self-amplified. It works like this. A telephone or a microphone is connected to some sort of head end, like our universal paging interface, for instance, which we'll talk about more here in just a second. Then that signal is sent unamplified out to each individual speaker, and the signal is amplified at the speaker. So if one speaker goes down, the rest of the system still works. So now that we know a little bit of the background of why it was developed and the reasoning behind it, let's take a look at how the connections are made. Once again, this is a low voltage system. So standard category cable like Cat5e can be used. It's widely available, it's inexpensive, it's easy to pull don't need an electrician to do it, so there's a lot of benefits to using Cat5. You'll use two pairs, one for audio and another for power. The best practice is to use the blue-blue-white pair for audio and the orange-orange-white pair for power. Audio comes from the one-way page output of your Valcom head end, like you see here on our universal paging interface. Attach the blue conductor to one terminal and the blue-white to the other. Polarity is irrelevant at this point, but we'll revisit that when we look at the connection on the speakers. Power comes from any of our our 24 volt DC power supplies that you'll find on our website. Many have screw terminals marked as positive and negative. If they don't have screw terminals, they'll have uh, two bare conductors marked positive and negative. You'll connect the orange, orange, white pair and be sure to note which conductor that you've connected to the positive terminal and which to the negative. We'll use solid orange for the positive and orange, white for the negative. Valcom self-amplified speakers are daisy chained, so pull your cable from the head end to the first speaker location, then to each subsequent speaker location. You can use a continuous cable run and splice into it at each location. At your first speaker location, cut into the cable and twist together the light colors of blue, blue white, and orange, and orange white. On the back of the Valcom self-amplified speakers, the input for audio is labeled tip and ring. This is where you'll connect the blue, blue white pair. You'll need to take note of which conductor that you used for tip and which for ring, and use the same for each subsequent speaker. Now connect power in the same manner. Connect the positive wire, which in our case is the solid orange, to the terminal on the speaker labeled ground, and connect negative to the terminal labeled minus 24 volts DC. Then continue this same process at each speaker location until the end of your run. So there you have it. You can see the Valcom self-amplified speakers are super simple to connect. We've used a V1020C round ceiling speaker, but this process is the same for any of our self-amplified speakers. This circuit board on the back with the amplifier and the screw terminals will look the same. If you need any more information, any specs on speakers, things like that, please visit valcom.com and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Yeah.